This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Howard versus Stewart. Ms. Howard, it's my understanding that you are suing Ms. Stewart for a tattoo gone horribly wrong. You're asking this court for $1,000 for your past expenses, $2,000 for your future expenses, $50,000 for emotional distress for a total award of $53,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Stewart, you believe you gave Ms. Howard what she asked for. Had she been paying attention, she would have gotten what she wanted. But what she got is what she asked for. True? Yes, Your Honor. Well, let's get into the legal sauce. Ms. Howard, tell me why you wanted a tattoo. I wanted this tattoo to commemorate the memory of my grandmother that just passed away a year ago. She referred to me as her firstborn because I was her firstborn grandchild. She basically raised me along with my parents when my parents weren't there. She meant the world to me. She's the number one person that knows absolutely everything about me. And when she left me a year ago, I was so hurt. I've never felt pain like that before. And I just wanted to do something nice to have of her memory with me forever. What was your plan for the tattoo? I wanted to get a tattoo that had her favorite flower, which are roses, and I wanted it to read, I love granny, born first. And I wanted it to be written, the word granny, in her handwriting that she left for me in a letter before she passed away. And then I looked up the best tattoo shops around me and I found Queenie's tattoo shop. It had the best reviews and on her website it said 100% satisfied customers. Okay. Miss Stewart, tell me about your shop. I've been tattooing for 15 years. I've owned this shop for 12. Um, like, like she said even, you know, she looked me up online. She saw that I have really good reviews. I tattoo a lot of celebrities and musicians. Tattoos by me are not cheap. Um, I take my work very seriously, and she came in wanting to tattoo for, for her grandmother, and she made an appointment. So what happened? So I showed Queenie the design, and I asked, can you make this look pretty? Let me get Sheriff Matt to, to get that for you. So this is the design you went in with, right? Yes, that's just a rough draft of my writing, which I kind of wanted it to look like, but I wanted her to add roses and make it look pretty, obviously. And where it says Granny, that's actually your grandmother's signature. Yes, Your Honor. That's a, that's a beautiful thing. And born first is what she called you. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, did you understand that, Ms. Stewart? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Okay, and you remember seeing this document? Yes, I do. Did you take this and turn it into a fancier design? Yes, and everything that I, I did, she approved. Uh, I went over everything with her. Um, she, every, every time I, I made an arrangement or adjustment, she, she said it looked great um, when I... So when you I, were careful in trying to figure out exactly what she wanted? Yes, yes. So, Ms. Howard, what happened? She said, come in a couple of days after to get your tattoo. So I went in, and everything went great until a couple of days later, I had a staff party along with my second grade fellow staff teachers and some parents. And it was my first time showing off the tattoo. I was so excited. I wore a low-cut dress, made sure it showed my back. I was hanging out at the party until people started pointing and laughing at me. And I'm like, what's going on? Do I have something on my face? And I go to the bathroom quickly, and I have a coworker following me behind, and she goes, um, why do you have a tattoo that says, uh, I love granny porn? And I said, oh. granny porn? Oh. Like, so, so this, I'm in disbelief. This... I'm, I didn't ask for granny porn. Do I look like someone that would have profanity written on me? I'm a second grade teacher. I'm oh. so embarrassed at this point. So you think, until you see it, you think your tattoo is going to say, I love granny born first, not granny porn first. Yes, I'm pretty sure my grandmother is rolling around in her grave right now looking at this. Granny porn? Your Honor, <laughs> I showed her the design from the get-go. I, I drew it out, I showed it to her, she said it looks great. I made a stencil, I showed it to her, she said it looks great. I put it on her skin, she said, okay, it looks great. This is not my fault. She approved every aspect of this design. I'm not responsible for this. She said this is what she wanted, she was happy with it, and she gave me the go-ahead. Okay, so go through the process, because I want to see what your safeguards are. What do you say to her on the first day? Well, on the first day, she was asking a bunch of questions. She brought in the design, and then I went from there. And so I, when I, when I brought this out and I showed it to her, I said, you know, is this what you want? And she so said, So you yes. showed her the design on this iPad? Yes. Okay. 
And do you remember seeing this design? She showed me the design when I'm laying on my stomach. She showed me from behind. She came up behind me with an iPad saying, does this look right? I'm laying down, upside down. How am I supposed to... From my angle, that P. So you're on like your stomach, yes, and sir. you're looking back this way to try to look at the design to make sure it's accurate. Yes, Your Honor. She should have shown me the design when I was sitting up, not laying down. That's so unprofessional. So when you're lying on your stomach and you're looking over your shoulder, you look at the design and you think you're seeing "I love Granny" born first. Yes, Your Honor. And that's why you said yes. Yes, Your Honor. But instead, the tattoo said "I love Granny." Porn first. Yes, Your Honor, and I would have never approved of something like that. I do not look like somebody that wants something like that written on me. So I showed you this from the get-go. You approved you it three separate times. You showed me when I was time. laying down on my stomach. I didn't show it to you upside down. Do you show down? all your clients Talk on their me, stomach? Ladies. So you put granny porn on her back, and you say it's not your fault. I went off the design that she showed me, and she approved every aspect of it. I am not responsible for this. She had ample time to go through and tell me that she wanted changes or that she didn't like things, and she never said a word. Are you illiterate? Can you not know the difference from a B to a P? I'm well, asking. Well, hold on now. Doesn't that apply to you, though? Don't I you know the difference design. between a P and a B? Yes, I do. And if she I... would have shown me when I was sitting You're a teacher, down, don't not you know your ABCs? My stomach, you don't know your ABCs. You clearly don't. You this is your design. Ladies, talk this to me. This is your design. Talk to me. Miss Stewart, who likes granny porn? I mean, you have to you know that. I don't know her life. How do you think I feel trying to go to a family barbecue? I can't even go outside now without wearing a jacket. Yes, it's literally like 85 degrees outside and I have to wear a jacket this at recess with my kids. This is so embarrassing. I'm mortified. I was trying to just honor my grandmother and now I have my whole family against me. Let, let's call this what it is. Miss Stewart, you knew that she didn't want the words granny porn on her back, right? Correct. That is not what I wrote. And if she wants to interpret it that way, it was on her to tell me that she wanted change. Well, wait, 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 wait a minute now. You made a stencil, some kind of transfer, right? Yes, Your Honor. And it said granny porn. It said granny born. Porn. Okay, granny born. But you tattooed granny porn. <sighs> no, no, I did not. Okay, well, I'm not responsible did. for this. <laughs> you can see on the plasma her, her note. It says, I love granny, born first. That's a, that's a big mistake. That's what it says. It says and, porn. And on your stencil, it says, I love granny porn. Maybe I'm missing something. I born and porn are two different universes. I would ask you, is this what you want? And if you said yes, then that's what's going on you. She signed a waiver. I mean, I am not responsible for this. I mean, I, I have You bring right your here. waiver with you? Yes, Your Honor, I did. All right, Sheriff Matt, will you get it for me? Thank you, sir. I got the best. Let's look at it. And, uh, Ms. Howard, is that your signature at the bottom? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so it reads, I waive and release to the fullest extent permitted by law all claims, actions, suits against any person of the best little tattoo shop from all liability whatsoever. Then it says, Best Little Tattoo Shop and its employees have given me the full opportunity to ask any question about the procedure and application of my tattoo, and all of my questions, if any, have been answered to my total satisfaction. After such consultation, I have agreed to have the procedure. Let me give you a legal lesson. You must read legal documents when you sign them, especially when you waive all of your rights in case something bad happens. You sign this, and if this taken in a vacuum, this case is over and you lose. Now, it is not in a vacuum because this court has to consider all the evidence, but this waiver is very important. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Folks, to understand tattoos and the business of tattoos, this court has brought Reality star and tattoo artist Cat Tat is here today. Sheriff Matt, will you bring Cat Tat into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Cat, now you've recently opened your own shop. Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so we actually just recently celebrated the one year anniversary for my shop. Um, it's called Enigma Tattoo. We're located in Beverly Hills. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Now you've tattooed a lot of celebrities, right? 
Yes. Like who? Um, I've tattooed Idris Elba, Faith Evans, Super Bowl champions, um, Von Miller, Shane Ray, um, musicians, Young M.A. I mean, countless celebrities are constantly coming through the shop. <laughs> You've changed a lot of famous skin, haven't you? Yeah, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> now, what are your most popular designs? Um, well, people come to me for my close attention to detail. I specialize in really anything realistic, so portraits, flowers. Um, I do a ton of cover-ups as well. Maybe like 80% of what I do is, is cover-ups. People see that I specialize in these larger pieces and they think I can cover anything up, so, yeah. Are there any rules that apply to tattoos? Yes, there's a ton. Do your research. Make sure that you're in a professional shop. Make sure that you have researched your artists and they're capable of doing the type of work that you want. Double, triple check um, spelling, you know. Have you ever, when showing the tattoo to the client, have you ever shown it to the client while they're lying on their stomach? You know, my process is I put the design on you and I say, come on, let's walk over to this mirror. You look in the mirror. If it's on your back, I'm gonna give you a handheld mirror so you can look at it like this and see what it looks like from that. So I always take extra precautions. It's a permanent procedure. It's like mini surgery. Now, you've brought along a video that you've submitted to this court. Let's mm -hmm. put it up on the plasma screen and walk me through it. This is a video of me tattooing myself, right? Because what better person to practice on than yourself? So, um, what I'm doing, I'm applying my stencil, basically, from the image that I approved. And once the stencil is on me, I let it dry, take a look at it, make sure it looks like, you know, what you want, and then you begin the tattoo. And then it's no going back from there. And you <laughs> did that to yourself? I did. You mentioned that you do a lot of cover-ups. Yes. What's, what's the process of covering up another tattoo? If it's a dark design, then likely you're gonna have to do something full color to saturate it so that it's really covered up. Now, Miss Howard has a tattoo on her back that says Granny Porn. Yes, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Could you come over to the monitor and yes. show us how you would cure this problem? Yes. So, there's a clear misspelling. I mean, this... Typically, you would think a B or a P could be turned into a B by adding an extra loop, but the spacing here is just off, you know? This would look ridiculous to try to put a small little loop in here. So this tattoo, 100%, you have to wait till it heals, wait till some of this bruising goes away, and then I'd be able to cover it. And I would cover it with something similar to this. Oh, my God. That's really beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Beautiful fully saturated roses that completely get rid of what you have. And then we can apply the correct spelling and the correct phrase that you wanted and just erase the whole mistake from your memory. So, Ms. Howard, that looks like a good fix. That I mean, not, not what you wanted, but a good <laughs> fix. That's beautiful. That's all I wanted, something beautiful like that to honor my grandmother. Come on back here, Ms. Kat. <laughs> you can return to the witness stand. Ms. Stewart, this is a permanent deal, right? Yes, Your Honor. If she doesn't get this covered up, she's got granny porn on her back. <sighs> while, while we chuckle about that, this is something that haunts her. You see that, right? This is really not funny. My whole family, my grandmother, was a church-going woman. I, like, can't even walk in a church right now. I went off the design that you approved. You did I'm not. Sorry. You did not. This I did not, not approve fault. the is... word porn. You porn and porn are completely every different. Aspect of this and design like she said, there's it on even you. no you room to fix the beat. I'm sorry. Ladies, I think I've heard enough. I'm ready to render my decision. <laughs> Folks, this, like so many of the other cases that I've presided over, is a personal injury case with three components. You, as the plaintiff, have to prove that Ms. Stewart was wrong. And that Ms. Stewart's wrong caused your injury. And you've put up evidence that you did your best to make sure that this tribute to your grandmother would be perfect. I love Granny, born first. And you trusted this professional to do what you asked her to do. Instead, you suffered a very embarrassing moment. You, Ms. Stewart, you went through the protocol to get her to approve what you put on her skin that you're not the marshal of what's appropriate. If she wants it, doesn't matter what it is, if she approves it and signs your waiver, then you're gonna give her what she wants. Well, in this case, everyone must be attentive to the details, not just the professional, but the client. You gotta make sure that what you want is what you're gonna get. You are the backstop. Here, the issue is, 
whether a service provider such as a tattoo artist has a duty beyond giving the service that you asked for. The evidence shows you wanted born, but you signed a waiver saying you're getting what you wanted, you understand, you had time to ask questions, and you're ready to put the tattoo on, and she put on what she showed to you. The law requires me to find in your favor, even though I think you should have asked her, do you really want porn? I find in the defendant's favor and against you because the law requires me to do that based on the evidence. And that is my final verdict. This matter is adjourned. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Andrew Finkelstein has to say. A tattoo was permanent. The plaintiff knew this going into the procedure and should have made sure the artwork, including the spelling, was 100% correct. She did not do this. She signed a waiver that released the defendant from all claims of negligence arising out of the tattoo process. Please, read and understand what claims you may be waiving before signing any release. The repercussions can be permanent. I feel terrible for the victim. Yes, ma'am. If it's possible, I would like to offer her my services for this cover up free of service. Did you hear that? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Yeah. That means the world to me and to my grandmother and my family. Thank you so much. I got you, girl. Look at you taking care of.